Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin, and I am here to share with you part two of my cows on banknotes. I was very surprised at how popular that last theme was, and having only selected about seven notes from my many notes that had cows, I thought, well, I have more than enough to do a second, probably a third or fourth video. For now, we'll, we'll stop at two, and we'll see what goes on from there. But I've selected another seven notes to share with you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and press the subscription button now. And then after you've watched this video, go back and find the other cow video. This is my 104th video on my channel, and I've not even been around for a full year yet. Um, let's go ahead and get started. The first note I'm going to share with you, with you that has a cow on it in this grouping is from Swaziland, and it is a 20 Emalangeni. And you can see right there in the middle, there's a cow. Um, we assume it's a cow because we only see the head. And the reason I, I say that is I received a lot of guff for inclusion of what some people said were oxen and what some people said were obviously bulls and steers and such. I use cow in the collective noun sense. When you have about 50 gazillion words that have 50 me gazillion meanings, depending on where you're using them in the world, it makes sense to use a compound noun. And I'm not going to get into the semantics about whether or not an oxen is a cow. It is. And I'm not going to get into the realities of why people can go by, oh, look, there's a herd of cows in the distance when one of them is obviously a bull. Many of them are heifers, some of them are doggies, and some of them are yearlings or steers. There's no point in arguing about it. These are cows, people. And <laughs> we just need to accept that. Now, this is a beautiful cow with a horn from Swaziland. It's a nice note. On the other side of the note, we have uh, King Mswati, and um, again, a beautiful note. The next note takes us from Africa all the way to Asia, and this is, I believe, Chinggis Khan. Oh, yeah, Chinggis Khan, I believe. Well, it's one of the Khans. It's Chinggis or it's Kublai, but I believe it's Chinggis. And if you turn the note over, you can see one of his magnificent yurts being pulled by uh, many heads of oxen, which are a kind of cow, which are all cattle. It's a very impressive thing because this yurt is on a, it's on a wagon. So maybe this is some sort of original mobile home. <laughs> Nevertheless, it is what it is. Let's move back to Africa and let's look at this uh, 10 shillings of Uganda. Very colorful note. I like this family of notes. They all had graphics that were very pleasing to the eye. And when you turn this note over, we have uh, multiple themes in the vignettes. We have bananas. We have, I don't know, those are probably coffee beans up here in this segment. And then we have fishermen right here on some sort of low boat. And then here we have a pair of longhorn African cattle, cows as it were. <laughs> and they're sitting here grazing. A very pleasing note. We're going to stay in Africa for the next note. In fact, I think we're staying in Africa for the rest of the notes in this group. And I'm sharing with you an Egyptian five pound. And on the front of the note, we have one of the, um, one of the, um, mosques that are resemblant or that uh, symbolize the Islamic modern Egypt. And on the back, we have some of the reliefs that signify the Pharaonic or historical Egypt. Over here, we have the Eye of Horus that serves as the um, offset register. And it's this Eye of Horus that contributes to the RX that you see doctors using nowadays to make their prescriptions. And you look here, you can see one of the gods of the Nile. He's a male, female, um, character. Uh, you can get a closer look on your own if you'd like to, but in the relief down here to the left of the central panel, we have cattle in farming scenes, and we have somebody milking a cow here, and we have a pair of cattle, and they may be plowing or they may be doing some other sort of farm work. But there you go, ancient cattle in an ancient art. Staying in Africa, but going a little bit more to the central part, we have um, a 500 franc from Rwanda, and it's a beautiful note. I've always enjoyed children, and I enjoy seeing them on computers. This kind of looks like my class when we actually get to have class in person, but what I really like is the classical appearance of the cows on the back of this banknote. Isn't that beautiful? It's just a beautiful, beautiful banknote. 
Beautiful. I can almost see the kindness in the cow's eyes. Ear tagged for um, tracking purposes, but there you go. Three cattle. And cattle that you'll see in Rwanda and you could just as easily see in Oklahoma. It's pretty impressive. Let's look at the next note, which comes from Nigeria. This is a 200 Niara, or Naira. And on the back of this note, we have a couple of cattle. Again, bighorn cattle seem to be popular in Africa. And we have, other, we have other farm and market goods on the back of this note. I don't know what this is. Some sort of stain that must have just happened on my note. It kind of... Makes it bad enough that I want to get another one. Yeah, I tracked it as having a stain. So if another one pops up, I'll probably grab it and replace it. But it's still a pretty note. That one might end up being a gift to somebody. And my last cow note that I'm sharing with you today is from Guinea. This is a 25 Silas. And it's from 1960. And um, it's very simply and um, beautifully executed on the front. And on the back, it's a lovely lovely scene of a herd of cows and in this herd there seems to have all likelihood at least one bull and probably some younger ones although i'm not seeing anything like that now they might all be yearlings but never the mind nevertheless they are all cattle and i like the effect of all the rays of sunshine coming out exalting this humble farm beast well, there you go, guys. Seven more examples of cows on banknotes. Please uh, push the subscribe button if you haven't already decided to subscribe to my channel. I have 103 other videos for your viewing pleasure. I am Benjamin. This has been Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.